Hello, so today I would like you to look at that image and I'd like you to have a think to see if you can think about what we're going to be talking about today. And it's a debate. It's something where there is not a definite answer. OK, so actually titles for your books today, Nature versus Nurture. Put the date and the title. Two key terms for your glossary, nature is all about saying that our genetics, the things we inherit, determine how we behave. Our personality traits and our ability are in our nature. They're in our DNA. Or nurture, that is where it's all about our upbringing and our environment and our experiences that make us behave in the way we do. We are nurtured to behave in a certain way. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some scenarios on the next few slides. And I want you to just jot down whether you think they are nature or whether you think they are nurture. Number one, Phoebe loves Marmite on toast, just like her dad. Do you think that's nature? She's inherited it from her dad, or is it nurture? Ernest lived to the age of 101. Nature or nurture? Patrick loses his temper easily and often gets into fights. Nature or nurture? John has just come out as being gay, nature or nurture. Beth has his impressive general knowledge and is a quiz show champion, nature or nurture. Olivia loves the colour pink, nature or nurture. So going back to them, Phoebe loves Marmite on toast just like her dad. Now I don't know whether you put nature or nurture, but it's difficult, isn't it? Could be nature, could be that she's got more of the particular types of taste buds on her tongue that would make her enjoy Marmite. Or it could be nurture, it could be that her dad told her that Marmite's lovely and in fact it's something she was given from early early babyhood and it's all she's ever had on her toast. She's never been given jam or peanut butter or all these things. Ernest lived to 101, that's good, but did he because he's inherited genes that have allowed him not to get certain inherited diseases and in fact he's got a really healthy heart, lungs etc. Or was he nurtured into exercising, eating healthily and all of those things that allowed him to live to a ripe old age? Patrick loses his temper easily and gets into fights. Again, is it genetics or is it how he's been brought up? Was he brought up to be somebody that loses his temper? Did he watch mum or dad lose their tempers often? Did he grow up with siblings that behaved in that way? Or is it genetic? <sighs> so John has just come out as being gay. So nature or nurture, this is one that is often talked about in this debate, actually, with some people falling down on the side that it is due to inherited genes and genetically you are just simply either gay or straight. And other people that believe that actually it's due to the way people are being raised or socialised, particularly perhaps by their parents. If a boy child is particularly socialised in what seemed to be a gender female way, so given girl toys like a doll or a buggy, or given um, clothes that are perhaps pink or that sort of thing. Mm. So again, like the other ones, that it, it's both things really. Is it nature or is it nurture? Beth has an impressive general knowledge and is a quiz show champion. Is that because she inherited intelligence and a quick mind and a confidence that she might be right? Or is it nurture that actually she was uh, grew up in a family where education was very important, grew up in a family where they talked a lot and they talked about general knowledge and they went to museums and so on and so forth. And Olivia loves the colour pink, but does Olivia love the colour pink because it's due to her inherited genes? Or more likely, perhaps she was surrounded by pink as a child and her parents gave her a pink bedroom and dressed her in pink clothes and so on and so forth. And now she's ended up liking the colour pink. So nature nurture, the nature nurture debate is how much of who we are is inherited and is due, due to our genes. And there's absolutely no doubt that certain things are. And how much is nurture and is down to how we are brought up and how we are socialised into one way or another, particularly sometimes in gender roles that we'll go on to look at later, but that's a good example. So what I'd like you to do now is in no more than 50 words, now the reason we do that is so that you're absolutely tight and you're not waffling, summarise the nature and nurture debate. Give some definitions, 
and give some examples in both cases of things that you think are more about nature and things that you think are more about nurture.